Uh, well, hello everybody. Uh, this is the first, yes, first. Um, I know that this is going to be really rough and tumble, so don't expect too much of this particular one episode. Um, because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I am uh, I'm Patrick Garcia, you may know me from my videos, and if you don't know me well, as, um, congratulations. Um, hopefully that will change, and uh, hopefully for the better. Who knows? I don't care. Um, this is the new show that I decided to start because I'm having such a fantastic time creating maps and doing paintings and illustrations again, which I haven't done for years and years and years, that I thought I'm going to create a new show, a whole streaming thing, live, live, uh, because, you know, life is uh, better when it's live live. And uh, the, this show is going to be called Breaking Map. Because I'm not doing <laughs> essentially, I'm, I'm just going to be breaking maps. Um, and this is, uh, you know, on screen, you can see a little map that I drew a little while ago uh, on this uh, weird village. And I'm going to start um, painting uh, because I want to add textures and, and color and shit like that, uh, which is going to be really fun. You will hear today a lot of sounds that should not be there. I'm sorry, I promise. I promise that I will do an awful lot better in the future. I am using a Wacom, Wacom Intuos 3 tablet, which I've had for 10 years, more, more than that, more than 10 years, I think. A long time, very, very long time. But it works, it's not a Cintiq. Uh, eventually, at some point, hopefully one day, perhaps, if you give me one, it would be a Cintiq. But for now, it, it is not. So anyway, um, I, I drew this uh, in, in my Moleskine um, notepad. Uh, I, I bought uh, three Moleskine notepads um, because, well, you know, Moleskine, they say that it's oh, better and texture, the paper, and all that sort of thing. Uh, well, they were an offer. So I thought, no, why they're not? <laughs> anyway, the, uh, so I, I drew this thing, I scanned it. And I've tried as best as possibly been able to get rid of all the artifacts and all the smudges because there's much an awful lot when I draw. Because I like to do my shading in pencil and you know, I'm old school like that. So anyway, this is my scale, this is like 15 meters. So yes, we have very humongously large trees with 30 meters tall, some of these wide canopies and mega huge mansions. Um, and one of the things I like doing when I do my maps is to actually create a story around it. This is a river, and the river has a little kind of lagoon in it. And in this lagoon, there is some sort of goddess. Um, I don't know much about her yet, but the fact is that this little hamlet has sprouted all around the cult of this little goddess that I don't really know who she is yet. And that idea was inspired by a trip I did to India an awful long time ago, in which I went to a place called Orcha. Orcha is a spiritual place of pilgrimage. It's a, it's a town with about 400 temples that worship different gods and goddesses and they live in absolutely perfect harmony. So I thought I'm going to do it the wrong way around, wrong in brackets, I'm going to do just one goddess who lives here and then all these temples that actually get to live in peace and harmony around them. So um, I thought, yeah, that sounds like a pretty cool idea, so I'm, I'm going to go with it. Uh, I have scanned it and I'm going to create a new layer. So I can, I'm going to duplicate this layer as well. So I can put it all the way to the top. On multiply, this bottom layer I'm going to hide. And this layer I am going to fill with white. Why? Because when I add new layers in here, and I start painting, um, like so, but not in white, because if I paint white, then, oh, by the way, I'm using an absolutely horrifically slow, slow brush. Evidently, look at my computer struggling. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is really insane. Uh, this is where I'm Wow, this is not cool. Um, I cannot, I cannot paint like that. So let's, 
the real dates, which is a bit too much. Let's start again, and let's open my new folder. Let's start again, and let's open my pencil. Um, let's start with something simpler, and see what happens. And apparently not much is, is happening. Do I have a password to do everything? But this, this must be a weird thing. Let's, let's, let's do this thing properly for goodness sake. Come on. Okay, um, okay. Um, this, this time I generate you know, brushes in Photoshop, uh, which is fantastic. But I want, you know, I am a kind of old school guy. So what I have here are my. Oh, the very bottom. I have here my inherited, you know, my legacy brushes, which I remember very fondly, and they can do some, or they should do some really cool shit. Uh, but for some reason, they are doing some cool shit. Because, my ears. And, and this, this is just so you know, I told you, I had no idea what I'm doing because, yes, I was erasing on a blank layer. Yay, Paco. Anti-amazing. Anyway, uh, we're going to go on to the uh, dynamics. And as you can tell, I'm uh, controlling this with my brush stroke. So if I, if I, if I press very gently, I, I get something very gentle. And if I press very hard, I get something very hard. Uh, but this, this is, is not what I'm looking for, evidently. So I'm going to do some of the whole thing and erase and then deselect. So I'm going to get this issue again. Uh, I'm going to try with different brushes. Uh, I, I, I do like experimenting with brushes because I like texture. I like texture at home and a hair. Um, but evidently, this is not going to give me an awful lot of it, which is perfectly fine. Oh, no. Okay. So, so what, I'm, what, what I'm looking at is I want, want to get some variation in, in, in the text of itself. So, so I'm going to enable the dynamic shape and the control is going to be the pressure, pressure uh, my, my brush pressure. Um, I'm going to write the angle a little bit as well. And I'm going to apply this setting here. Uh, the projection of brush because I think that could look very cool in there. I'm not going to do the red borders or the noise. Okay, that's starting to look more like what I want to look like. I don't like the color, that's fine. I'm going to work on that in a second. Now, uh, I like uh, color dynamic because as you can tell this is going to change from one color to another, and what we're going to do is define the color that we want for another brush. So we can choose a darker kind of green, and we're going to try that. So we we can we can get um, we, we we are starting already to see some variation in in the color. Which I'm beginning to be slightly happier with. The, the cool thing about this is because I'm, I'm going to be working on it, it doesn't really matter if this is not exactly what I want because I'm, I'm going to be changing later. And as you can tell, probably by the dotting, I am dotting. I'm not painting with strokes because every time you, you press this um, brush changing. The, the shade, shade size, size uh, the, the color, color etc., etc. Et 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 um, and I like that a lot. It helps to give a slight texture. Slight texture. Um, the very age of the time we can, we can, can ooh, no, 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 that's a bit too much. much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Original is do way too much. It was a bad thing. Original saturation, that might be a cool error. Why not? Um, uh, let's add some texture to it. Let's start with some. Okay, okay. I'm never going to change color. color. Uh, because. 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 because I don't like this color at all. We want something greener. Something. Ooh. Okay, that's 
else. I don't think much I like this either. So I'm going to change this to here. Uh, the brown. Okay, let's just try this now. I'm not liking this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this. At all! My, my god, god, this is horrible! horrible. I, I don't like, like this. this! This is tremendously horrible. So let's change again. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's get rid of the color, color dynamic. Okay. Okay. Uh, what we can do, do though is we're going to change the dispersion a little bit more. Uh, we're going to change the opacity and apply this because okay, that, this is starting to. We right. Okay. 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 I want to get some of these sort of color to so this land of whatever it is. Um, um, yes, I'm, I'm working on the full painting right now. Um, because why not? Uh, you know, because I, I, I can go there later on to detail. As, as you can tell, tell I am talking as if I have a clue <laughs> what I'm doing, which I don't. Trust me, I, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I've seen so many uh, painting and uh, tutorials that I can talk like the people who talk like they know, people who know what they're doing. I, 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 Starting to feel like um, we're, we're going, going to start getting some custom brushes to do this uh, because I get the feeling that I'm not going to be able to get exactly the, um, the uh, effect I want when I like to start to, to create my own brushes. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. I really don't think this is going to work. So just... This is not good. But... Okay, we're going to fill this up. You see, this is one of the reasons why I, I, I stopped drawing. It's because I become frustrated. And I become very frustrated. Uh, no, I don't want to go down. Because I don't want to I am, for this sort of thing, I am notoriously, notoriously impatient. Um, but I'm sure I must have something. I have loads and loads and loads of brushes. Loads of them. Loads. So we can do um, what is this? Oh, Let's try to make it different. You can do much. Okay. That's, That's fine. Don't worry. worry. I, I don't know what I'm Or anything. Uh, square ones. Ooh. Ooh, this is a fun thing. This is this. Oh, okay. okay. We might be able to do something here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe I'm just something, but I think I want that, I want that, I want a little bit of dispersion. I, I like the unpredictable. Oh, this is better. Okay, now we're getting into something here. Yes, uh, I like this um, texture a lot better. Let's make it a bit super big. Okay, this is. We're we'll starting to mean, okay, yeah, I like this color. color. I like this color. Oh, I like this. Yes. yes. 
But I like it. We're going to say hello, you may know. Whatever. I don't care. Um, my mama, my color. You do your mama. I like this. I'm beginning to sound like there's no for the greenery, which I think there should be because if this is a gutter of, of gutters of water, then there should be a shed load of water and humidity all over the place. So that's. That's that. Let's, let's assume, assume for a second that I am happy with this or not. Um, let's, let's assume for a second I'm happy with that. I've, I've, let's assume that this is enough. I've, I've worked on this enough. So, so I'm going to get a home. Name your layers. Okay, I worked for many, many years as a graphic designer in a company and people didn't use to name their layers. So sometimes I would get things from um, graphic designers and art directors that would have like 70, 80 layers, and I'm not joking. And none of them would be you know, named properly. They would be layer one, layer one, copy one, layer one, copy one, one, layer two, layer two, copy. And there would be no way where I was. So this is going to be the ground if my keyboard allows it, because sometimes it stops working and it gets very temperamental and I have to disconnect it and reconnect it. That's what happens when you have a massive USB thing. thing. Anyway, we're, we're going to do one, and the thing, thing I'd like to do now is to work on the um, roofs, because that would give me a much better idea, I think, as to where I am and what I'm doing here. But I don't want to use this brush, however, I like this brush for the ground an awful lot, so I'm going to save it, and I am going to call it, I'm um, going to call it, um, Brown brush. I don't know why I call it that uh, because I'm <laughs> not remember it. And for this, I may want to try. Well, firstly, I'm going to have to go it because because white brushes strokes is not really going to work. So I'm going to use a kind of terracotta. Hold on, something like that. I'm going to start. Oh, you go. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. That's kind of beautiful. But I think it should be a little bit smaller. I'm going to a little bit more opacity so I can have something cleaner. I'm going to disconnect the airbrush setting because I want something. Be a little bit too much. Let's try. Let's try something harder. Yeah, forty-eight sounds a bit too much. That's oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, I like this. Okay, thank you very much. And we're gonna get rid of the house. Out of the house. Eventually. Eventually, and I'm not going to say when, um, because I don't like to make promises that I am not going to keep. I'm going to create a story, a backstory for each little temple in this little hamlet. And uh, yes, I have very poor eyesight, which is why you can see me getting closer to the screen. Well, which is amazing. So anyway, I'm, I'm, this is surprisingly tedious. I'm not joking, but I have to say I am a very strange kind of creature, and I like work that is actually tedious and repetitive. Why? Mm, for one reason is that when you do work that is very really tedious, um, it is very repetitive. By its very nature, you become better at it. No, I'm kidding. You become a lot better at it. Because that's what repetition does. You know, practice makes perfect. And if you practice an awful lot, then you become perfect at things. Um, since I have an absolutely innate ability and talent for imperfection, 
I have to practice things an awful lot, which I have absolutely zero complaints about because I like doing this sort of work. Now the question that you might be wondering, and I don't blame you for this, again, okay? I would be wondering probably exactly the same thing, is, is Bhagavad Shiva. It's unlikely. It is very, very unlikely. But I promise you one thing, and is that I will learn, because I am going to ask my friends who already do this sort of twitching, recording, streaming services, what music they use. Because I have a very particular taste in music, in that I like almost anything except jazz. Jazz, I can tolerate some of it. I like some of it, okay, I'm not, but it's my least favorite sort of music. Don't kill me. Well, tough. Okay, tough. You like all the types of music. I don't. I don't care. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge you for that. Why would you judge me? Because you're an idiot. Anyway, um, hey, you started. Anyway, uh, the point is, I I like this sort of thing. But I will learn to. Uh, oh, yes. Sorry, talking about the people I'm going to ask. As you can tell, since I have no idea what I'm doing. You may want to take a look at streaming and you know um, channels of people who know what they are doing. Uh, for instance, my friend Melissa Fadden, who inspired me to do this. Lisa, I love you very much. You're amazing and fantastic human being, an insanely talented cartographer, uh, and I hope one day I become good enough that you will not spit on my work and throw it into the pits of hell where it can burn forever, which is what it deserves. I might be exaggerating on that. But anyway, uh, do take a look at Lisa's work because she's absolutely amazing. She's done some work that have left me utterly and completely and genuinely out of breath. Uh, maps that you look at and think, the insane level of detail, the, the fantastic amount of thoughtfulness and thought and care and planning that go into any of, of those maps is just totally and utterly unbelievable. Yeah, you know, I have no idea if this hut, well hut, I maybe mean, this is about 15 meters south, this mini mansion, was built and then the wall was built around it and that was kind of like, be like, <laughs> you're in the wrong place. Or if they actually wanted to build it around the wall for some particular reason, I still haven't managed to follow myself. What do you think? I have no idea. I'm assuming that you're still watching, which is, well, thank you anyway for watching. I, I appreciate that and subscribe, by the way, since you want to. Yes, I can draw with one hand and, you know, wave with another and do two different things at the same time, uh, which is, I just realized I can do this. <laughs> I know, it's this other user, just like me. Uh, but anyway. How is this looking? I don't know how it's looking. There should be something that will allow me to do it. I will investigate all it. Anyway, how is this looking? <gasps> Look at those roofs, all colored in terracotta. How amazing is that? Anyway, this. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, yes, uh, take a look at the art of Lisa Fallon. She's absolutely amazing, but it's, she's not the only one. I, I draw, I've drawn inspiration as well from people like um, Dyson Logos. He does uh, old style maps, which I don't know how he does it, but they are really simple, and yet they manage to convey exactly what about needs to convey, there is this sense of space and they have personality, I don't know how to describe it, they, they have personality and I really like them, I, I like his trace, you know, even though I have um, pens of my own and probably we use similar ones, but I don't know, he's, he's managed to do something quite magical with, with his maps and he's a good guy to boot, so I would but only take a look at his work as well. And if you are on Instagram, 
Uh, take a look at somebody called no longer an expat. I, I don't know who she is. I have no idea who she is. But she draws absolutely fantastic stuff. I'm going to cough. <coughs> you might have noticed I don't have coffee. That's going to have an impact in the not too distant future. And that would mean pausing this uh, recording and starting again when I get a cup of coffee. It is very likely that I will do exactly the same thing when I go to have a pee. Uh, because I don't think you will be all that interested in that. If you are interested in that, that's fine. I don't need to know. Don't. Seriously, don't tell me. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to know. And meanwhile, uh, I will just keep um, talking nonsense. You, you know who's very used to this, uh, me talking lots of nonsense? That's like my husband. Because when, when we record videos, we have to do you know, sound tests to make sure that the microphone is at the right distance, and there is no echoing or reverberation, reverberation anywhere. And, and he will sometimes tell me to say something. Uh, and I start talking about, well, I'm saying something, but I don't know exactly what the same are, so I'm going to keep saying things. Oh, by the way, these are huts. These are kind of the hippies of, of the hamlet. Uh, and, and I will keep talking and talking, and then I shut up, because I'll think, and say, no, no, I'll keep talking, I'm finished. And I keep talking, and that makes me really happy. Because, uh, because it's, a, it's, it's a good warm-up for when I'm recording videos, because when, I'm, when I record my videos, I, I try to do the whole thing in one go. I know these people that you get and, and then you get something. I, I, I know that's very fashionable at the moment, you know, having uh, three seconds takes or something like that. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. That's, um, that's too easy. I like to record my videos like I'm doing now from beginning to end and control my speech. Um, I, I can't control my accent. I'm sorry. I'm not, I, I don't want to control my accent anymore than I already do. You do it. Uh, okay, this is my, um, where I come from, and why should I control my accent? I know it sometimes it can get a little bit on the way of understanding me, but then, I mean, tough, so that's yours. I don't care. I try to look after my diction, because that's a little bit different, because accent is, you know, how your mouth muscles are, um, Train to speak a language, and whether you know you use your nose more or less, uh, so on and so forth, and even how you pronounce some some words, uh, like for instance, I, I have accents uh, in places from the north of England because my British family is from the north, so I say north instead of north or north, um, because north it probably means something else. Um, but I hear people that you know instead of wicked, say wacket. Why do you pronounce it like that? You just want to confuse me. You, you know, I heard that TV presenter when I used to watch Saturday morning television. Yes, I used to watch Saturday morning television in bed 20 years ago. I am not proud, but I did it, and I'd like to take responsibility for my actions. Shoot, not shoot. It's too far away to shoot me anyway. But considering your love of guns, America, you might take it too seriously, and I don't want to go here at all. Because me, I kind of don't trust guns. Because I can see what it can do, and I don't like it. Down to me, or anybody else, for the matter. Now I'm getting into serious topics of self-conversation, which may not be. Oh, no, 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 So, well, we have, oh, okay, that was quicker than I thought. I need to retouch. Don't do that. Oh, my God, what's going on? Photoshop, you're being annoying. Thank you. Uh, I need to retouch this thing. Because it doesn't have the right color. And I am going to paint this one.
Uh, dark. Ooh, ooh, that's WhatsApp. That's WhatsApp. That's somebody saying hello in WhatsApp. I, I think you might be able to hear this. I don't know. I don't know. Is it recording that sound? I have no idea. I'm using, by the way, I am using OBS, which sounds OBS. Oh, Bush. No, it's not, that's, it's, it's not that at all. Let me see if, well, where, is, where is WhatsApp? Hello. Oh, hello, that's Facebook. That's not WhatsApp. I don't want you to see what I'm doing on Facebook, so piss off. Okay, yeah, that was my husband saying that he's going to watch Popmaster. That's right. Good him. If you knew what I'm doing, you would probably think I'm crazy. Right. Why am I doing this now? Because I'm having some shading. That, okay, okay, this is the time, though, before I you know, get carried away with my nonsense. This is the time where we should be choosing where the light is going to come from. Uh, because that's going to determine where the shadows are going to be falling and where everything is going to go. And I like, you know, the shadow. I'm going to add a new layer. Where it was not, I think it was. <coughs> a new layer. And I want the shadows, you know, the light to come from here. Um, as you can tell, I have no idea how to draw arrows. And in order to do that, uh, allow me to change this for a second. Uh, I am also going to choose my color palette. Um, we have this, but I'm going to do it 100%. We have this, and I want something a little bit redder. the rules and something a bit, a bit too much maybe okay I'll do think not less to purplish I like it it's got a little more saturation a lot darker Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. I need something a bit lighter here. Okay, these are the colors I'm going to be using to um, paint these roofs. Uh, just because. So, if the light is going to come, as we have said, you know, from this angle, So, uh, the normal thing would be that the shadowy, oh, really appalling arrow, my god, I can't even paint an arrow! Wow, I'm not gonna have a painted dragon! <laughs> That's pathetic, pack of piss off. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave that there, and I'm going to. Oh! What have I done? Idiot, I've drawn the wrong layer. Ah, I'm such a fool. But you know, I have a problem, and it's that. Um, I use the mouse with my right hand, uh, but I use my pen with my left hand because I'm kind of ambidextrous like that. So what happens is that when you use your mouse with your right hand, you become accustomed to use your fingers for shortcuts with your left hand. And now that I'm using my pen, a stylus, uh, um, I have to use my right hand to do shortcuts, and it's very uncomfortable. I don't particularly like it. So anyway, I will try to get used to it. So we're going to go back to my uh, beautiful there, and we're going to start drawing the lighter areas because this is where the light comes from. So this is lighter and lighter. 
we can go closer and closer, and you can tell them a bit of a loose cannon because I'm using a really wide brush on really tiny spaces. So let's make it, you know, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 15, 15, okay. 15, it's very good. I like it. I like the 15 number. So, the fifth element, but I just have to do bullshit. So, let's do this. And move that. Let's do this. You can see that we already have a little bit of volume, volume, volume to our drawing. I like the story, not the colour. Uh, I may add some texture later on to it, but not immediately. Uh, right now, I just want to do some flat colouring. Ah, I got Okay. Um, because I just want to add the, the basic values to the whole painting. I don't want to become too precise with it. The floor I, I tried to do, I'm just wasn't working. But if I just made the whole floor with just one single colour, I would find it too bland and boring and I wouldn't be able to work with that. Um, whoa, what can I say? Okay. Now this I'm not going to, oh yes I'm going to, I'm going to draw like this. Although this is meant to be lower, so this will go a little bit. I'm pointing the screen because you can tell where I'm pointing. <laughs> but anyway, I need to forgive me my little shittiness. Uh, this is where the light comes from, and so it's in this. And so it's this one. Oh, I would like to thank my friend Jason Juta, who. Ah! Jesus! My God, you stupid asshole. Uh, who is the one who recommended to scan things and put in a overlay uh, so I can go on underneath the map and still have my visible because I can do that now. And make the whole thing just disappearify. Like so. I have no idea how long I've been recording, by the way. But I'm getting first. Interesting. Let's save your time. Do you want to have a break? No. Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. I'm working for you. This is all for free. What are you talking about? You should be doing that today. No, sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Um, anyway. You didn't know I was this cheeky, didn't you? You thought I was a very serious kind of person, but mm, I can be very cheeky. Very cheeky indeed. So, this, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one. This is so cute. This is a bridge. I'll draw it later because I can. You know, yesterday I was watching a video of a YouTuber that I follow because he is absolutely hilarious. I, mean, I do like his style. I, I do rate him quite uh, highly. Uh, Jazza, you may know of him. You should. Um, I hope you do at least. Yes, I know this is rounded. Sorry, I know this is where I'm pointing here. No. Here is rounded and this should be darker. But I'll do that later. Anyway, um, he was um, kind of mocking a little bit uh, the art world and he took a look at the most obscenely uh, prized pieces of artwork ever and he took a look at things that have been sold for things like 40, 80 million dollars and how subjective the value of art is and you know I cannot claim I understand why these sort of paintings um, accrue that 
amount of money. But I must admit that if I were insanely rich, as in I'm so rich that I could spend all my money today and I wouldn't have to worry about it because tomorrow I still have enough money to last me a thousand lives rich. You know, J.K. Rowling kind of rich. There are some paintings I would spend that amount of money on. Um, because there are people that I value insanely, like Goya or Velasquez or you know, Michelangelo. But these are the easy ones, these are the very obvious ones. And I'm going to admit that the reason I find it bewildering that people pay $80 million for a painting is because I don't know enough about that. I don't know enough about um, valuing those pieces. Uh, so am I going to shun it? No. Absolutely not. Would I spend money in those particular pieces? I can remember that they were just, for example, one of them was just, ah, I don't know, I just got stuck in a hair in my moustache. Uh, it was just a blue and yellow, two stripes of blue and yellow uh, paint. But that went for 86 million. It's, um, it was painting in, in the 70s by somebody whose name I can't remember. Will I pay that amount of money for it? No. Do I value it as an artwork? Yeah, I do. Because although it was just... just two stripes of paint and so as yes, yes, anybody could do it but we weren't the one to do it someone else did it so what can I say um, it's not good enough to say oh you could do it you didn't do it yeah. And if yeah, you had done it, um, I, don't I don't know, does it take anything else to, to reach to the, the level of um, commanding a lot of money for your hard work? Is, is, is the artist personality something to do with it as well? The being able to sell your work to convince people that it's worth that much, or to convince a critic that it's worth that much because quite frankly and I may get into some sort of water for saying this sometimes it feels like you look at something and something that is very highly regarded and you feel that it is that highly regarded because somebody said I'm going to say that this is very highly regarded um, because that's going to mean that I have some sort of esoteric knowledge that you don't, and therefore in a world view, and if you don't agree with me, it's because you're just a peasant who doesn't know a thing about art, and that's going to give me a sense and a position of superiority over your puny, puny little knowledge. I don't know, is, is there a little bit of that? Because sometimes I feel that there is. Sometimes I feel, I look at some piece of art and I say, you know, you're pushing it. <laughs> now you're pushing it. Um, so, anyway, I, I don't even know why I started this conversation. Well, conversation, kind of, it's a stupid model. Can you remind me? Um, anyway, I don't know how, how artists valued, monetarily speaking. We are... Okay, this is beginning to take some, actually. Some sort of volumetric shape. I like that. So what I'm going to do now is to do the same here. Because I'm going to be around it. But I'm going to try it like that. Because I can. These are the hippies. They live in huts. And they probably oh, I'm gonna have to draw some mushrooms now. They probably cultivate mushrooms. All over the place. Okay, okay now, now we, we want. want. I'm going to. Uh, Just some shells. And for that, 
I'm going to create a new layer. These are rules. On this layer four, I want to go. Ah, I my nose is itching. Before, Before the, 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 the I am going to get a drink, so we're going to pause. pause. The sun's 